So the latest build of Windows 11, that is a 22,160, comes with very few number of new uh, additions to Windows 11. One of them is the clock. So this is a new addition in Windows 11, that is the focus session. Now if we see the other uh, tabs also like the timer, alarm, etc. And they have all been redesigned according to the design language of Windows 11, hence making them look far more consistent with the user interface and the design of Windows 11. Starting from the icons, the rounded corners, all are made uh, according to the design language of Windows 11. So let's see more about the focus sessions that they have included. These are the things that, are, that you get to see in focus session. So you can also uh, link your Spotify account from here and listen to music while you do work and also from to do you can sign into the microsoft account to create task and be and pick a task for a focus session so our task will be synced according to the microsoft to do so let, for these things to work you need to uh, do a couple a couple of more steps that is you need to first get to the store and download spotify from there you can link your spotify account by clicking link spotify now after you have given the correct password and all that you need like the password and the email id and you will be getting this things that you need to accept or agree now after you have agreed just wait for a few moments and the playlists will appear here you can just select which one to play from here you can also click over here to open or launch the spotify app you can you can collapse spotify you can view the settings also you can change the app theme we will go to the settings later so let's first talk about these things also you have uh, microsoft to-do list over here if you just sign into the app which is just a few steps or clicks away just click on the account and click on continue and when you just sign in give the permissions that are required now you can add task from here or if you already have task in Microsoft to-do they will all appear over here so let's just give a random task let's give a sample task select for session you can select and you can choose the time amount of time you have so let's select 60 minutes and we can select a uh, music from here if we need and we can click on start focus session the music plays pretty well and uh, we can also stop the music from here if required and it stops there also we can select a task list from here open in to do collapse the task list from this card so these are basically like cards as you can see so you can keep this on the top if required like here and you can do some other work and see some uh, decent uh, see some information that you require from here Also, there are other options from here. You can select on settings. You can change your daily goal from here and also clear the daily progress. So let's go to the settings section now just to see. So we have focus periods. We can adjust the length of the focus time or break, breaks according to our needs. Turn on the end of session sound. Also, we can stop the end of break sound. We can also remove the Spotify tile that shows in the focus session experience 
and obviously the app theme that can be changed changed from here also we are using the system theme which changes according to the system and here is the account if you need to change you can do from there now another thing is that um, just to show you how this looks in dark mode we just need to restart the application This is how it looks in dark mode. I would say that Microsoft is, as of now, has done a pretty decent work with Windows 11. And I am very much excited that when they are going to launch the final stable version, though it will still take some more time to come in the market as the stable version, but still I am quite excited from now. Now Microsoft has also included another feature in Windows 11 if you have noticed that in the settings if you go to Windows update from here you will be able to see that if an update is available it will show you the amount of time required for the update. Now the new changes have come up that the, the time estimated time for a restart or an update will be shown only if you are using the computer on a solid state drive so if you are using a hard drive it will just stop appearing over there so that is one another change that has been brought up in windows 11. 